Wednesday of Holy Week. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Today's Gospel is from Matthew 26 14-25. Then went one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, to the chief priests, and said to them, What will you give me, and I will deliver him unto you? But they appointed him thirty pieces of silver, and from thenceforth he sought opportunity to betray him. And on the first day of the Azimes, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the pasch? But Jesus said, Go ye into the city to a certain man, and say to him, The Master saith, My time is near at hand, with thee I make the pasch with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus appointed to them, and they prepared the pasch. But when it was evening, he sat down with his twelve disciples. And whilst they were eating, he said, Amen I say to you, that one of you is about to betray me. And they being very much troubled, began every one to say, Is it I, Lord? But he answering, said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, he shall betray me. The Son of Man indeed goeth, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man shall be betrayed, it were better for him, if that man had not been born. And Judas that betrayed him, answering, said, Is it I, Rabbi? He saith to him, Thou hast said it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Matthew 26 14-25, recounts the events leading to Judas Iscariot's betrayal of Jesus. 1. Judas' Agreement with the Chief Priests The passage begins with Judas making a deal with the chief priest to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. This sets the stage for the unfolding tragedy, emphasizing the betrayal's premeditated nature. 2. The Value of Jesus in the Betrayal the use of 30 pieces of silver as the price for betrayal draws a connection to the Old Testament prophecy in Zechariah 11:12 to 13 This reinforces the significance of Jesus as the ultimate sacrificial lamb. 3. Judas' Question and Jesus' Response When Judas questions whether he is the betrayer, Jesus responds affirmatively. This interaction reveals Jesus' awareness of the impending betrayal and the fulfillment of divine prophecy. 4. Foreknowledge and Sovereignty The passage underscores Jesus' foreknowledge of the events and his submission to God's sovereign plan. Despite the betrayal, Jesus remains in control and obedient to the Father's will. 5. Judas' Regret Following the confirmation from Jesus, Judas experiences remorse and tries to return the silver to the chief priests. His regret highlights the weight of his actions, but it also foreshadows the tragic end of his story. And 6. Fulfillment of Prophecy The betrayal by Judas is portrayed as the fulfillment of Scripture, emphasizing the divine orchestration of events leading to Jesus' arrest, trial, and crucifixion. In summary, Matthew 26 14-25 portrays the calculated betrayal of Jesus by Judas, aligning with prophetic expectations. The passage emphasizes Jesus' foreknowledge, sovereign submission to God's plan, and the unfolding fulfillment of scripture in the events leading to the crucifixion. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, in contemplation of the poignant moment when Judas betrayed your son for 30 pieces of silver, we seek your guidance and grace. Help us to examine our hearts, that we may remain steadfast in our loyalty to you. May we learn from the consequences of betrayal and choose the path of faithfulness. Grant us the wisdom to recognize the significance of Christ's sacrifice and the depth of your love. In our journey, Lord, let our actions reflect the enduring devotion that stems from a heart transformed by your grace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.